Boston Seaport District has exploded in recent years and become a hub of innovation. And that includes for two immigrants who are bringing a unique taste of their home to Boston. It happens here, the Seaport District, largely desolate and industrial until Anthony's Pier 4 opened in 1963, and then recently a building boom with glitzy condos and the Boston Convention Center. It's also home to the Innovation and Design Building, where inside, two friends from Ecuador are brewing up a company. It's based on a traditional tea, a traditional recipe that I grew up drinking in Ecuador. It's a, a blend of 20 herbs and flowers. Nicolas Estrella tells us that blend is called Orchata Lojana, and it is steeped in tradition, made for centuries in the Andes Mountains, part of which is considered a blue zone, where people live longer and healthier. It has a lot of anti-inflammatory benefits. Uh, each ingredient has uh, a lot of phenols and polyphenols. So in Ecuador, we've been drinking this for centuries to improve uh, the digestive health and because of the taste. So Nicolas and his business partner Juan teamed up with small farmers in Ecuador and decided to bring the recipe to the U.S. with an indigenous Ecuadorian name, Waku. So Waku is the Quechua word for together. For together, yeah. Together because Nicolas is determined to make an impact in his home country. Why was it so important to you and your business partner to use farmers in Ecuador? More than 70% of the farmers live under the poverty line in Ecuador. Um, and even though they make these amazing and they grow these amazing quality products. But then came the task of convincing Americans to try that product. Nicolas and Juan started by biking around Boston selling it. Now at nearly a million bottles sold. Boston is a coffee town. Dunkin Donuts was founded here. We famously threw a bunch of tea into the harbor. Yeah. Uh, how do you cut in and make this a tea city instead of a coffee city? Yeah, l luckily nobody has thrown Waku <laughs> to the river yet. More and more consumers are being interested in uh, just like better, this type of better for you product. And when we tried it, it's obvious why. Mmm, that's delicious actually. It really is. They have six or seven flavors. I brought you two of my favorites, and, and Lemon Twist is this one. And Oh, you opened see, it this time. To, I was able to open it okay. that time. Great. Try that one. Oh, it smells like lemon. It's really, really good. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> it's really good. I'm proud of you. you I got the other one open. Bottle. Okay, great. This it's is really ras good. Raspberry Rose is this one, so, so give that good. one a try as well. It's good. It? It's, it's very not too refreshing. sweet. It's refreshing. Yeah. It's great. And how do your guts feel now? I feel, they feel very, Amazing. very invigorated. <laughs> <laughs> you can find Waku at a lot of grocery stores or online. They've also launched a crowdfunding campaign for investors. We have a link at cbsboston.com. And give it a try, everybody. It's, it's, it's quite delicious. It's delicious. I like it.